The next repair we're going to do is to the friction pack. This is on a fender shifted unit. Uh, either a loss of neutral or loss of drive. To, re to replace the friction pack, we must remove the driven kit and the drive kit, and we refer to other videos for that repair. All right, we've now removed the driven kit and the drive kit, so now we're going to remove the top cover, C clip, the shift arm, and the friction pack. Once we removed all of the screws, we removed the C-clip. Shift arm. Support and the cover. There's four screws holding the friction pack. One two, three, and four. The best way to reach the one under the cam is to simply rotate this out of the way to get access. To get access to the bolt, we must remove the spring. We've got to rotate the cam. and then the friction pack comes off. A new friction pack that is shipped with the pin. Training Bulletin TB7159 will explain the removal of the pin. At this time we reinstall the friction pack. And we'll tighten our screws. Reassembly starts with the cam holding the selector, slides into place, then resetting the spring, the measurement between the spring must be two and a half inches. The next step is the cover. Tightening torque should be two and a half foot pounds. We reattach the shift lever, install our C clip, and remove the pin. And that's the repair. We have now reinstalled the drive kit and the driven kit. The unit is ready to be reinstalled in the unit. 
remembering to remove the pin, referencing training bulletin TB71-59.